Hey everybody, Burn here. We are on our way to the western part of inner city Columbus, headed to the west side of campus of The Ohio State University. We're gonna be putting in on Olentangy River Road, which is exactly the river we're going to, the Olentangy River. We're going to be taking out a hazard that was reported to us by a nonprofit organization called Hero USA, which services much of Columbus and Central Ohio. We are very honored and excited to be responding to a hazard report that they sent to us to help their organization and their business, as well as anyone else that paddles the Olentangy River in the campus area. So join us today as we remove this hazard and support the local community in Columbus, Ohio. Looks like we got a group of out-of-towners joining us for a little nature trip. Some friends from up north, it appears. Well, I wouldn't call it a clean river, but it's a lot cleaner than I expected it to be. It's good to be able to see the river because you got these little ripples everywhere. And with the water being this shallow, but it's also murky, you can't see and it'll sneak up on you. So you gotta be able to watch what the water's doing. And I was able to navigate through there fairly well, but as I looked by, everywhere there was a little bit of a turbulence or a disturbance in that water. There was a rock that was just a centimeter under the water. Every one of them. And while I wouldn't consider it hazardous in only six inches of water, it can really disrupt your paddling if you don't know what to look for sunglasses and all of a sudden shade, that's going to make it really hard to know how to get through there unless you know what you're looking for. And it's different than the wind blowing, creating chop. So we've got ourselves planted at the project. We're on Nolan Tangy today. We started downtown Columbus. Currently, we're right before the Scioto River, where the Olin Tangy comes into the Scioto. You can see behind me here, we've got a tree falling all the way down put across the river. The current's taking us river left. Our goal is to try to take it all the way up to the edge of the bank there. So what you see behind me, we're here on the Old Land Tangy. Uh, I'm going to start, just like all of our projects, uh, Rando and Burn are behind me, uh, taking a look at what needs to be done, talking it out, going over safety protocol, where we might start, where we could start, where we should start. All of those are intangibles because they change. They change with every cut. So I may have uh, a whole plan in my head where I'm going to make the first cut. Uh, I may have three cuts in my head all figured out before I even start. But then I make the first cut and those other two cuts are have changed. So this is um, a very dangerous work. Every step, every move is calculated. I know on video it just shows uh, me going in and cutting it and it's down. But I may spend, we may spend, we may spend five or ten minutes talking about one cut.
we actually did that yesterday on our very last uh, uh, very last cut we needed to make to be able to get through the river uh, where we were at we actually spent probably 10 or 15 minutes talking about what we were going to do so I want to make my first cut here this is probably how the tree is going to uh, respond and react and uh, and then we talk it out and then we listen to each other always listening to each other. So, uh, of course, I'm gonna start down at the end and just piece it this way and keep working. You see, uh, there is clearance to go underneath of the, uh, of this obstruction. Some people can do it, a lot of people cannot. If the water's up another foot and someone's coming through, it, would, uh, it becomes a uh, uh, even, even worse hazard. So uh, that's kind of how the project's going to go. And we're going to get to work. Dutch out. The water levels are low. So we're not just going to be able to chop it up in pieces and, and have the water assist us. We're going to have to physically roll the logs out of here. So today's project is thanks to Hero USA. Uh, one of their employees sent us an email to a website. Said they had a hazard. Uh, they sent it to us a couple days ago. We got here as soon as we could because Hero USA, they do a lot of good for the community. They're providing training, construction, paddle boarding, kayaking, they're supplying boats. So we're actually gonna be using their takeout uh, today when we're finished with the project. So we really appreciate them and letting us know about uh, the strainer today. So I think that's it for now. We'll see what we get into. It looks like it's gonna be pretty manageable but anything could happen. We're in a different environment with river rangers. Most of the rivers are out in the country in the middle of nowhere. Today we're in the city. We've been passing under concrete bridges, railroad tracks. There's camps along the river. It's been interesting and it's been a lot of fun. So hopefully you'll get a chance to join us today. By the time we're done, this will be safe to paddle on the Olentangy. Rain to out. <laughs>